okay let's go to print and then let's select a4 sheet then let's click create okay so we are going to add a gradient background from a rectangle okay so grab the rectangle to and then create a rectangle leaving a small space at the bottom okay so from the properties let's click here then choose gradient all right so for the bottom one we are maintaining the black but for the top one we are changing the color and you can copy the color code as you see on the screen okay so right now what we need to do is bring in our first image so i'll do a drag and drop and then resize it to my satisfaction and i'm putting it right here okay okay so let's go into our resources and select this file that's one of the 3d text effects you can check out this video to get a bunch of text effects all in psd files okay so now this one right here we can turn down the background and we can take out the titles all right and then glue lights right there and when you expand this one right here you can turn down the small text and then expand this one so we need to change the text we need to double click on this smart object right here all right so it will take us here and this will pop up if you don't have the font or something like that so we'll grab the text tool and then type whatever that you want to type okay so i'll type war so after typing you just come up here then try closing it then i'll choose yes then it will be applied right here okay so from here we'll go ahead and save it as png format so that we can use it with our backgrounds so i've already saved that so i'm not going to do that again okay let's go back there and double click here to go back there okay so that we change the text okay now i already have this one too and that's the number of big text that we are going to do so the next thing that we need to do is close down the group and then turn the eye for the small text on we are going to expand and double tap on the smart object and grab the text to then type whatever we want to type and after that you can change the font okay so the same process and then we save it as png and i got this one too now we are done with all the text so let's go and hide the small one too and then turn the lights back on now we will need some as glow light so let's delete this one and delete the small ones too and now let's save this one as png and that's it for here so let's quickly go back to the flyer that we are doing and then start importing the png resources that we've done so the first one i'll just drag and drop and then resize that to my satisfaction okay so i'll let me let me adjust that okay so i'll bring in the next one same way drag and drop and then resize place it right here okay then i'll add the last one okay so this one two is in all right so then after that we will just have to add the glow lights that we saved as png to this one right here so i'll drag it up here place it on the text and then change the blend mode to linear dodge and now let's duplicate the glow lights two more times in different positions and you all can see one is not enough so i'll duplicate one in the middle and one to the bottom okay so we are done now let's bring in um pictures for the background so i'll drag in this first one here and place it at the top left then i will change the blend mode to soft light then after that i'll add a layer mask and brush the hard edges off to blend with the background and after that we will bring in the second image for the background and I'm going to resize and place it top right and then change the blend mode to soft light 
and then same process add layer mask and brush the edges okay so from here let's add another light to the background so with this one right here i'll just change the blend mode to lighten and then send it to the back then after that we add layer mask and then brush off the unwanted areas and as usual check in the description for the link to all the resources that i'm using in this video and kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't so we are going to create a rectangle for the theme so grab your rectangle and just make a rectangle <laughs> yeah when you grab the rectangle that's the rectangle that i come to create so we're going to do a rectangle right here then go to properties and round up the corners okay now let's change the background to gradient let's change the direction to zero and then add our colors and we're going to use purple on the left and then orange on the right not too much orange but within the wavelength of yellow orange all right so we are going to grab our text tool and then type our theme on it and i'm going in for raise its name higher let's place it on top and make sure you select both the rectangle and the text then align them very well and after that let's create the theme text itself and change the font to cream cake and then place it somewhere here this font type doesn't have semicolon so let's drag over the semicolon and change the font type okay so now it's time to add some random apostles so let's grab our rectangle tool and do some rectangles right here and then let's add a stroke a white stroke with a size of 14.1 or 14.0 now let's duplicate the rectangle three more times and after that we're going to change the background for each into a different color but we are going to maintain the same color for the first rectangle and change the colors for the rest of the rectangles so you can go ahead and choose any three random colors of your choice and then you get along with it so here are my colors and after that uh, we are just going to do a simple thing just grab our apostles image and then come and clip it into the rectangle so let me resize this one right here and then um okay so i'll clip it and we are going to do the same thing for the rest of the rectangles so all that i gotta do is bring in the image and then come and clip it into the rectangle and now all that you gotta do is click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel like this video and leave a comment below and as usual the link to the resources will be in the description so kindly check them out okay so now this image is too dark so let's go to filter camera raw and then increase the exposure a little bit okay and let's do the last one bring in this guy and resize do the same thing okay so now the next thing that we need to do is add their names below so let me increase the rectangle and then you grab a text to you type their position or their titles and then their names below all right then after that you just change the colors so i'm going to use a script font for their titles and then a sans serif font for the names then after changing the colors for the names um i'll just duplicate whatever i've done here below the rest of the images okay so there we go now let me select all of them and bring them down a little bit then after that let me decrease the height of the background rectangle okay so now let me just drag over the text and deselect the images that are selected to okay so now the next thing that we need to do is add the date time and the rest of the info so i'm going to paste it right here all right and then bring it down now the font that i use for the friday is stretch pro and i will leave the resources my telegram channel and the link will be in the description 
and if you want to stretch your text you just double the text and it will be stretched up the rest are just rectangles and text so there's no need wasting much time on this so we are going to add our final image all right so let's go and bring in that image right here and it has to be below the two background images all right so i don't need the whole image i just need this area and i'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge and then i will add hue and saturation adjustment layer and then change the image to blue but make sure you clip it all right okay so let's change it to purple and after that let's rasterize the image hold control and then press e to merge the adjustments layer with the image now duplicate the image ctrl t flip horizontal and place it on the left okay now select the two images and lower the opacity all right so the next thing is just grab the ellipse tool and then make a circle and i'm going to take out the fill and add a stroke all right and put one at the bottom left and one at the bottom right all right so we take away the fill and then add a stroke then duplicate one to the right now let's come to the top and here we can add the logo of the church and the name so i will just place in my logo and then add a fictional name of the church all right so i'm going to place it right here and then the last thing that we need to do is add a glow light all right and i'm going to bring in this guy and then squeeze it up like this and then change the blend mode to linear dodge I'm going to place it right here and then add here a saturation adjustment layer and then change it to blue then rasterize the image and merge it together and duplicate two more times and place them here and I'm not going to add any lens flare but what I will do is just increase the brightness of the pastest image so let's go to filter and camera raw and then increase the exposure and that's it guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel link in the description for resources and i'm out peace